And you had mentioned healthcare, Jason. That is a hidden cost that I didn't even see. It. I made a video a couple weeks ago because you had mentioned it. It was about okay, well, what does healthcare actually cost, oh. right? And it's it's for the veteran. Now, Champ VA is still um, it can be amazing. Everyone's situation is different. My situation, Champ VA would not work. I don't want to get into it, um, but it absolutely can, especially for supplemental insurance. But the veteran, like if I was to tally. Every single time I went to the VA, you know, if that was private world, what would my, I would definitely max my copay out every year. That's a minimum three grand um, for, for that plan. And just like, what does that cost look like? And it's insane, right? Oh yeah. Healthcare costs are insane. And so that is another hidden benefit of not just hundred percent PNT. It's really 50% plus for the veteran. And then right. for 40% below whatever your service connected for, is free, it's free. Which is a huge, huge. I'm talking medications. Um, I, I always have this bag right here just in case I talk about it. All of this costs money, okay? And I didn't pay for it, which is which is a huge just that hidden cost. You don't know what you what you're not paying for because you don't see it come out of that bank account, right? That's one benefit. Champ VA is awesome for families. You know, we talked about chapter 35. I still think it's 1488 per month. 1401. For $1,401 um, per month to your dependent. Can you imagine being an 18 year old kid? You just got out of high school. You're going to, you live in the state of Virginia because, by the way, they repealed the, uh, yeah. the whole Virginia <laughs> thing, right? We won. <laughs> Um, you live in the state of Virginia, you can go to in-state tuition for free. Oh, by the way, you get this chapter 35 stipend of 1401. Can you imagine being, being, being a father who is debt free, almost paid off their house because they had the real benefits of hundred percent PNT. Their child can go to school for free with four, $1,400 as an 18 year old, I would go insane. Now, you know, uh, when I was 18, I got my money at boot camp, and then whenever we were deployed, so I couldn't really spend it. But imagine being in college. Hopefully, you know that child makes good decisions. Um, but that is, those are other benefits of PNT. You know, it's easy to talk about Chapter 35, but what does it actually mean? And I think that's a good example. Like your child has $1,400 to to use for a dorm for their car payment. Their books, pencils, paper, laptop. They probably don't use pencil paper in school anymore. Mm -hmm. I went online, so it was a laptop. Um, I'm actually going back to school online here here very short in about two weeks. But uh, you know, that that's the real benefit. That's just chapter 35. There are tons of other benefits, Jason. If you want to just, you know, chime in on anything that that I mentioned or bring up any other benefits of 100 percent PNC. Yeah, you know, I, I think that um one of the unspoken benefits is the peace of mind, mm. right? Because, you know, even those that are at 100% are always worried about, oh, my God, am I going to get reduced? What's happening? You know, blah, blah, blah. So getting to that permanent and total gives you some peace of mind. You feel a little more protected and you have your little cocoon and you feel good about it. Um, I think that that's important. I think that another piece that, and this isn't necessarily 100% permanent and total, but 100%. Being 100% paid, so that includes TDIU, your, once that has happened for 10 years, once you've been rated 10 years um, at a, or paid out at 100% to include the uh, TDIU, you could pass away from anything and your spouse would be able to qualify for dependency indemnity compensation, which is a fantastic uh, benefit for surviving spouses and parents uh if they're dependent parents or, or a child they're dependent right so that's another great benefit let's not discount state benefits right i mm. mentioned it earlier uh remember for everybody there's two you talked about uh, the education benefit there in virginia every state has a menu of benefits for veterans and some of those uh, benefits open up at the 100% mark, 100% permanent and total typically. And that would be things like your real estate tax uh, exemption, your auto uh, registration fee waived, uh, that type of stuff. And, you know, it's a, it's a good 
idea to look through and talk with your state veterans affairs department or whatever they call it there's different variations to see what's available for you at that at that rating also just because i'm on this i'm, I'm just going to throw on a couple things real quick keep in mind that the states and this isn't a a rating specific thing but just on state benefits alone that there are uh, state veterans homes. These state veterans homes are basically like convalescent type homes. So whether you need skilled nursing, memory care, or assisted living, uh, different variations, right? Different different um, uh, needs for different people. The states have these, and I believe I, I believe that every state has at least one. The bigger states have more. Like California has eight. I think Florida has eight or nine. Texas has, I think, nine or 10 um, veterans homes. So these are great resources for veterans, especially as we're aging and need another level of care. As far as I know, your spouse is a bit, uh, able to move into these homes as well with you. So um, it could be an option for folks down the road. I just want folks to, to know that these things exist. And it's not a fun subject, but there are federal VA, Veterans Benefits uh, um, Administration, national cemeteries, so veterans cemeteries from a national perspective. There's also cemeteries at the state level that are also veterans cemeteries that mirror the, the, the same scope and feel and vibe of a national cemetery because they're required to in order to get any sort of kickbacks from the National Cemetery Administration. So there's cemeteries out there as well. Just something to think about and, and be aware of as, uh, as we are getting older. Our, our veteran population is, is a decreasing population. So just wanted to throw out those couple gentle uh, reminders for all of us. Oh yeah, the, the, the last thing I do want, want to talk about and I totally forgot about, um, about the real benefits of 100% PNT, it's super likely, I would say highly likely, that you're gonna receive back pay for 100% PNT, right? So you were 90, you're intent to file. Today is August, August 10th or August 9th, whatever. Let's just say my intent to file was January 1st of this year. That's gonna be seven, eight ish months of back pay from so 90 to 100, right? So whatever that number is, I don't wanna do math, let's just call it 10 grand. Um, you're going to get $10,000 in your bank at once. That is one. My advice to any veteran watching this is do not spend that on stupid stuff. Okay. You could put that in savings. You can put it on debt, do something that's not, I'm going to go buy a new car. Okay. Or I'm going to go buy a PS5 and redo my basement and have a gaming system you know, set up. If you're, if you have the funds to do that, go for it. Um, I would highly recommend not to do anything stupid, but that back pay is something to think about and plan for not to mention, right. Um, this might be a little TMI. There's all, depending on your state, there's also back pay for property tax. And so my property tax took mm. forever, Jason, it took over a year after submitting everything, going through uh, my county, my state, to my mortgage company, there was a third-party company that the state paid property tax, and then that third-party company had to pay the mortgage company, then the mortgage company had to pay us, and it was over a year of property tax. Um, that was also backdated about two years before that, so we're talking three years of property taxes and FYI, Virginia's insane on property tax. But that's another thing that veterans need to plan for. And the reason I want to bring this up is because you're you're gonna get a chunk of change if you go from ninety to P, to one hundred percent PNT um, in any sort. Even two months of back pay, right, is eight grand, or it's about Three. four, about four, yeah. Um, and it's just you need to plan for that absolutely have a plan what you don't i mean imagine being 18 years old and you get 40 grand in your bank account and just do stupid things you know don't do that in your 30s right <laughs> don't do that in your 30s that'd be my advice but hey you know what you could also say 
Clay, you're stupid. I'm going to, you know, go buy an Xbox and go take a family vacation, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, right? Definitely, definitely spend time to be to, to be present. Um, but I think what I'm what I'm really trying to say, Jason, without saying it, is <laughs> we have an opportunity to to be financially stable and safe and secure, and that's that's a whole stress off of you and your family. You know, a lot of divorces are for financial reasons that if you can just eliminate that burden from your, your household, that is worth a hundred million dollars. In my opinion, um, I just wanted to put that last point out there because I remember when I got back pay, I had no plan. And I was like, I don't know. I don't, so, I don't, so a lot I don't of this is you talk, a lot of this is you talking to your younger self. My mistakes. Yeah. It's okay. my, my I get mistakes, it. but what 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 are your final thoughts on on the back pay portion? Because it's gonna happen with benefit your your hundred percent PNT, and then assuming you have property tax exemption, um, that's that's gonna be some hefty back pay depending on you know right yeah situation. yeah. So so you know that when if you're if you're if your payments are included into your mortgage for your taxes and insurance and impound account. Uh, then yeah, absolutely. The, the mortgage company will typically be the one to write you the check back because every month you're kicking in a certain amount of money mm -hmm. or, and there's that whole time frame that goes by while they're trying to figure it out. They got to wait for a new tax bill with a new adjusted amount. And then they go, Oh, we got too much money. Let's give you the, the overage, uh, back. So, so that's awesome. And yeah, you know, yeah, I, I'm the same way. I mean, there's, I, I, I've blown through yeah, it's easy. and I don't even know like really where it went. I mean, just bad decisions, right? So, you know, oh yeah, let me buy this, you know, motorcycle or let me buy this car, um, not even brand new, just stuff. <laughs> then turn around and sell it for, you know, a third of what you bought it for. And it's like, okay, well that money went away. Should have just kept things. But, uh, you know, it's, I think a lot of this is just kind of that reflection, right? That, the you know, hmm, if I would have played this a little bit differently, things would be a little more different today. And that's mm -hmm. life, right? I mean, we're, we're constantly making decisions as we're going down, you know, do we take the left turn or do we take the right turn, right? And um, not everything is always going to be in our best interest in our decisions at the end of the day. Um, I, I'm i of the, the, I guess, mindset of do something smart and then and do something not smart. Like you can kind of have both, right? Yeah. So, so take, come up with the numbers in your own head, right? I'm going to take 70% and do something really smart with that. And I'm going to take 30% and I'm going to go to Vegas, right? Or whatever it is. Um, and, and I get it. Like if people are still actually even watching at this point, um, you know, it's maybe you think it's entertaining. I don't know. But I think that, um, I think it's just a, a, a word to our younger selves. And I would probably think that most people that are actually watching this would agree that, you know, if I would have did things a little bit different five years, 10 years, 20 years ago with what I've received, things could be different. And so I think that this is just a, a gentle message to those who are new. And that's, that's part of, I think, what we need to explain is that, look, the people watching this, there's some of us old salty people who've been around for a while um, and, you know, sat around growing a beard. Um, we've been through a lot. And this message is for those that are just exiting. Maybe they're getting ready to file their BDD claim, right? Mm -hmm. And they're filing a BDD claim and then they're going to get their claim decided four months after they get out. And then they're going to have to, you know, take a knee, readjust and file for some secondaries, files for some other things that they missed on their BDD. And what are they going to do as they're structuring their life moving forward? Um, I think that we all know, be smart with this. And I guess this is just our way to look out for each other and say, you know what, it is smart to be smart. Um, and uh, it's not it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of uh, um, discipline, I think. In, in, uh, in, and uh, take a day to think about something before you just jump into it, right? So there's really nothing else to say, I, I don't think, um, other than the ringing in my ears is just, yeah. wow, hi. And I think that you're reminding me of it. It's so subtitles. I appreciate you. 
Yeah. It's not a t-shirt. I, it's subtitles. Remember that. Nice. Yeah. 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 Do you hear what I hear? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Back well, so today we know we, we covered the VA pension and the so social security, which is a whole different beast outside of conversation. We talked about really setting not just you up, but your family up for success, financial fr 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 freedom, which is, which is, in my opinion, the actual American dream. And then all the other 100% PNT benefits that that uh, really contribute to that financial freedom. That's all I got, Jason. I'm going to try this outro thing. I've never done it right. But uh, if we take care of each other, someone else will. All right? No, I'm joking. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like, How does it go? How does it go? Were, were you waiting like all week to do that? I've been. That's That was rehearsed, yeah. You just, you just try to think of yeah, just stupid shit. I appreciate yeah. you. Good job. That's your next T-shirt. Yeah. All right. So, uh, look, veterans with 100% P&T rating may be eligible for many benefits, right? Uh, I'm going to read a few of them here, and then we'll go ahead and kick it out. So, VA disability compensation obviously is at the at a very high level, not the highest, because you have SMC. So, but it is a very generous uh, amount. Healthcare is free, free healthcare and prescription medications, dental care. Uh, comes into play. Special compensation can come into play for combat related special compensation, concurrent retirement, disability compensation for those that are retired, uh, career training, uh, certificate courses, apprenticeships on the job training and educational and career counseling through VRE, which you can get it at uh, a 10 percent rating. It's just an additional. Remember that that's their aspect. Um, automobile allowance, adaptive equipment, clothing allowance, death, uh, the dependency indemnity compensation thing that we talked about can also be things that uh, are available to you depending on the level of your disability, right? Like we talked about earlier, people are disabled for different and disabled, I, whatever, it's VA for, yeah. for different reasons, right? Some of them are actually physical and others are not. And uh, you may or may not qualify for other things. The property tax exemptions, you want to definitely check into that. Uh, reduced market value on, of a homestead for property tax purposes. Education assistance, dependents of veterans may get uh, up to 45 months of benefits for VA approved degrees, certificates, training, correspondence courses, etc. cetera. Uh, hunting and fishing licenses, check with your state. A lot of them open up at the lower ratings. I, I would say maybe 30s, 50%. Maybe some of them are even just a rating at all, right? Just some sort of letter from the VA saying that you're a quote unquote disabled veteran. Uh, federal employment preference. Uh, this also rolls over to a lot of the states. I probably all of them. Uh, uh, you get the veteran uh, preference points uh, for your uh, employment stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff that we missed, but uh, just a, that's just a few things. Champ VA would be another one uh, out there that's uh, the um, health insurance that you can add your spouse and dependents on as well. So with that, 